Hello guys, welcome to Cisco with Aman Sony and in this video we are going to talk about the CLI command line interface. Okay, let me put that there. Command line interface of the router and the major modes of a Cisco router. We are going to use the software Cisco Packet Tracer. We will be taking the CLI of the Cisco router and we will talk about the major modes of Cisco router. So first Let's start the Cisco Packet Tracer. This is the graphical user interface of Cisco Packet Tracer. Or in simple English, that's how Cisco Packet Tracer looks like. Let me just make it full screen. Let's select the router. Yes, if you click it here, these are the series of the router that you can use. This is a generic series router. No particular specification. Let's left click and put it on the workspace. Now. Using this, you can maximize it. Yep, indeed, looks fine. Now, if you want to access the device, just left click on the device and click on the CLI. So, those of you who are new to CCNA, new to networking, this is how a Cisco router physically looks like from behind a power cable, a power on off switch, a console port, an aux port, and different type of ports for data connectivity now if you want to take the cli of the router you have to put a console cable console port inside the console port and the other end will go to the serial com port of your pc or your laptop and that's what happened after that yes guys this is the cli it is not like that from the start let me turn off the router for you and let me show you how it starts from the beginning click here and it is turned off and click again turned on hop back to the CLI so from here the booting process of Cisco router starts it is decompressing the image and it is done it will show you basic information about the Cisco router like the model number and the iOS version and few other details of interfaces and RAM and flash available to you. Now at the very beginning it is asking do you want to do the configuration dialog yes or no. You might think we will be doing a yes but always 99.99% you will be doing a no. Why because you don't want the Cisco router to prompt you for everything like what is the password what is the clock what is the IP address what is this what is that no we are going to configure everything with the help of command line we are going to put the commands so just press enter and we are at the CLI of the router now pay attention to this symbol guys usually let me show you on the notepad you have a few ways to realize in which mode you are this guys is the host name of the Cisco router. If you haven't seen it, this sign, it means you are right now in the user mode. There is another sign also guys. Router, let me put that for you. A hash symbol. If you are seeing this sign, then you are inside the enable mode. Or it is also known as privilege mode. Now the other mode like a control panel of your windows let me show how it looks like it will be looking something like this yes it is global configuration mode so you have three major modes on a cisco router these are the keywords using which you can identify in which mode you are i will show you all of them just in a second for the commands, the top onto the CLI. Now, you guys, tell me in which mode you are. Yes, you are correct. This is the user mode. How can you tell? By looking at the symbol. Very good. Now, we want to switch over to the enable mode. Now, guys, what is the meaning of enable? The meaning of enable is letting you enable to do something. You are just telling the router that, okay, enable me. Enable me so that I can do more. I can do more commands, more configuration. That is why you are going to put enable. And yes, you are right. This is the enable mode. The router, the Cisco router, just enabled you to do a lot more things. A huge lot of things than your user mode. 
much 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 more powerful than the user mode you can see practically everything the clock the interfaces the protocols the configuration the version the databases and much more now you can't do a lot of configuration while you are in this mode for that you have to be in the third major mode can you guess the name yes it was global configuration mode the third one here so what is the command the command is configure terminal as soon as you put this command and enter you are inside the global configuration mode uh, global configuration mode and some sometimes simply to just call this config mode because you can config the router now i have shown you the commands to escalate to move from user mode to enable mode and to configuration mode now if you want to exit out any mode you have to use one special command works for every every mode even the sub modes that you will study in the future the one of the most famous cli commands ever can you guess it it is exit funny right just do this you are exiting out the config now we want to exit out the enable just put exit again you are inside the user mode if you do again an exit he can't kick you out more than that you will be staying inside the user mode so what we have done in this video guys let's see the review we have seen the cli in the cisco packet tracer of a cisco router and the three major modes of the router now uh, we have accessed all the modes and we switch over to the most amazing mode which is the second one guys enable yes you can't even go inside the config uh, terminal uh, con global configuration mode unless you are inside the enable mode so enable mode is very very important you can not even see everything you can even move on to the control panel the config mode so in the next video we are going to secure our cli meaning to be specific we are going to secure the user mode and the enable mode okay so thanks a lot for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed as much as i do and don't forget to like and share with your friends and you if haven't subscribed to my channel click and subscribe good day i'm a ninja signing out don't forget to watch the second video after that don't you stop networking guys take care love you all